welcome to Mrs. Brown's boy. She's Mrs. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown. Oh, Mrs. Brown. Door. Door. The door. Is that where it is, Grandad? <laughs> Thanks very much. My very own thick and satin of. <laughs> you better be a book and woodpecker. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh. That's nice. Someone's getting flowers. Are they for me? No, Grandad, it's a bouquet, not a wreath. <laughs> to the most beautiful woman in the world. They're for me. <laughs> to my wife. Just because I love you. Oh, that'll brighten Maria's day. It's nice to see Dermot doing things like that. Especially so close to the birth of the twins. Just weeks to go. Morning. Look. Flowers. Yes, for you. They're beautiful. But why? Just because. <laughs> that's romance, Maria. And that's the brown way. I haven't got time to put them in a vase. I'll look after them. Thanks, Mrs. Brown. Oh, they're so lovely. <laughs> Damn it. His father wasn't like that. You must be joking. The only time I saw reds are in the same room as flowers was his funeral. <laughs> no, damn it's a romantic. He gets that from me. <laughs> it's that time of year, and love is in the air. I hate you! I hate you! You can sit down. I don't want you to sit down. That suit yourself. Oh, don't you worry, I will. Like you always do. I've had a good teacher. <laughs> no. That one's mine, and that one, and I think this is mine. You can think again, that's fucking mine. <laughs> and there should be another one with this one, it's a double album, where is it? I S's. Oh, 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 oh. Bastard! <laughs> Are you two fighting? Mum, did you hear that? I know, come here, shh, now, now, I know. Me, a bastard? Technically, you're not. <laughs> Technically? Oh! Rory! Granny! Bono! <laughs> oh, my little man, let me look at you. Oh, now, what's all this? I'm an Indian, Granny. An Indian? Well, here, little Indian, go and play with your granddad. I'll be in here in a minute. Thanks for keeping an eye on him, Mrs. Brown. I won't be long at the dentist. No problem. I love having him around. He brightens up the whole place. You're going to be longer at the dentist than you think with those book teeth. <laughs> Hello, Ma. Hello, son. Oh, what beautiful flowers. Flowers? Who got them? Maria. They came this morning. Uh, actually... Maria was delighted. Oh, was she? Yes. Is it an anniversary or something? No, just because. Oh, that's so romantic. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, very romantic. I wish you'd do something like that for me. You're not romantic at all. He used to be, before he married you. <laughs> ah. I'm just saying, you know, you get married, you forget things, you get so busy. He forgets to get flowers, she forgets to work out, saggy arse, pimples popping out, teeth going bad, wrinkles popping up everywhere, you know. No, no, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure Mr. Brown loved you anyway. Right, you better go. Won't be long. Take your feckin' time. <laughs> you haven't got feckin' wrinkles. <laughs> Bono. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now, Bono, <laughs> if you're going to do that to Grandad, take the rubber tip off. He your granddad. No, he's not my granddad. He, he's my husband's daddy. But I call him granddad, among other things. <laughs> and, and I'm your daddy's mommy. So you call me... Granny. That's right. And daddy calls me... Mommy? Yes. And your mommy calls me... An LK. An LK. Does you know? <laughs> Psychic wanted. You know where to apply. I'm ordering myself a pizza, Mummy. 
Will I order you something? Uh, give me a look at the menu. It's in Italian. Will I just pick something for you? I'm well capable of ordering for myself in any freaking language. <laughs> Hello? I'd like to order a delivery, please. Mommy? I want you to get me. Give me a freaking second. <laughs> yes, 92 James Larkin Court. Brown. Uh, a medium thin crust Hawaiian, please. Yeah, and... Um, I'd have the pagione. And a lasagna, please. <laughs> Thanks. Excuse me, I said the pagione. That's page one. <laughs> How are you, Caddy? You still having that dream about me where I'm covered in oil and you're sliding up and down me? I've never had a dream about you. Ah, oh, it was my dream. <laughs> Is Dermy here? No. I'll call back later. If you see him, will you tell him I got that thing organised from? What thing? I have a friend. We don't need to know. Good night, Buster. I'll see you. <laughs> uh. What's up? I wish Rory and Dina would stop fighting so much. I don't think they understand how much it upsets other people. You could learn a lesson from that yourself. I beg your pardon. Sorry. Will you give that to your son? I love you, Cathy. Piss off! <laughs> what do you mean I could learn a lesson? I don't think you realise how much you not getting on with Mrs Nicholson upsets Maria. Here, uh, what's in the envelope? Two tickets for a weekend in Venice. God, Dermot's gone romance mad. Hasn't he? Here, I'd pick me dress up from the cleaners. Hiya, Rory. You feeling any better? I gotta go. Mommy, when the pizza comes, just put it in the oven. I won't be long. All right. Dermot's taking Maria off to Venice for the weekend. It's going to be going up and down in their gonorrhea. Gorgonzola. You're right, Gorgonzola. <laughs> it's in the Gorgonzola. It's the gonorrhea that rose. <laughs> Rory, why are you so sad? <laughs> Rory, I wish there was something I could do to make things better. There's nothing. It's over. I know. I could beat him up, boss. No! <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> but you didn't want anything to happen to him all the same, did you? See, you care. It's not over. It's open! Hi, Mrs. Brown. Hello, Barbara. Sit down. How are you, Rory? I just dropped over to see how you are. Not there. He's not great, Barbara. He's not great at all. I don't blame you. That Dino is a bitchy diva at times. What? There's the Italian food. I don't know how I haven't killed him before. He treats me like dirt sometimes. Shouts at me like I'm a trainee. Well, you are a trainee. <laughs> Hello, Dino. Hello, Mrs. Brown. I just called round to see if I left my white jacket here. Here, son. Dino. How are you? How am I? How am I? I haven't slept for two days. I have a blinding headache, bags under my eyes, and last night I just cuddled up in the corner and I cried like a baby. I'm sorry I fucking asked now. <laughs> Dino! Look, son, I know I didn't take you at first. And I don't pretend to know too much about Los Homos. But I love my son. And all I ever wanted was for Rory to be happy. And I have to say, I've never seen Rory as happy as he is when he's with you. <laughs> no, 
Pepdino. Why don't you come in, son? Rory's in the kitchen. He says he cares for you, but anyone will tell you he's always talking about you behind our back. And who would he be, Barbara? The cat's mother. Hey, Dino, I was just saying that the boss doesn't realise how good Rory is both are, wasn't I, Rory? No, you weren't. You were backbiting about the man I love. <laughs> I better go, so. <laughs> yes, you better. Be in early in the morning, Barbara. I have a new sweeping brush for you to try out. <laughs> are you defending my honour? Bit late for that. Oh, Rory. Ah, oh, Dino. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's start again. A new beginning. We'll go on a date. Yes, I'm taking Italian food now. I have a friend. He owns an indoor horse riding school. I'll pick you up Thursday, 7 o'clock. But I was never on a horse before. Oh, neither have I. It'll be an adventure. <laughs> He seemed happy. We're going on a date. <laughs> you see how relieved you are now they're not fighting? Yes. Wouldn't it be nice if Maria could feel that way? Ring Mrs. Nicholson. Oh, I don't think so. I've dialed the number. Speak to her. Hello, Hidley. Yes, how do you do? It's Agnes. Agnes Brown. How many fucking Agnes do you know? Mummy. Sorry. You know, look, Hedley, I was just thinking, you know, we're going to have twins in the family. You're going to be one granny, I'm going to be their real granny. <laughs> I just thought, you know, I'd like to take you to dinner. No, no, not here. I'll take you out. We'll go somewhere nice. <laughs> we come here all the time. That's nice. <laughs> Would you like some ketchup? No, thank you. Here. Put them in your bag, say nothing. You'd have a drink, will you? I have a sherry. You know, you'd have a drink, though. Mr. Foley, two pints of cider, please. <laughs> You're very lucky to have your husband at home, Mrs. Nicholson. Mm, yes, I suppose. Mine's in hospital most of the time. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thanks, Mr. Foley. Do you be getting it regular now? <laughs> really? That's not the kind of question you ask. Getting what? The punky punky tin. <laughs> Where can one powder one's nose? On one's face. <laughs> oh, the toilet is back there. <laughs> she's, she's not, not getting, getting it. it. No, she's not. <laughs> so, how's Sharon? She's taking cookery lessons now. Oh, that's no harm. Do you remember she tried to make French toast? She got her tongue in the toaster. Yeah. <laughs> she made a carrot cake last night. A carrot cake? Mm. How did it turn out? She didn't grate the carrots. <laughs> what she feckin' needs is a man. You're right, Agnes. Especially her being a virgin. <laughs> yeah. Amazing time, losing your virginity. Oh, it is. I remember. I remember mine. Oh, no. <laughs> I was sitting there, my mother and father downstairs, looking across from me. <laughs> I gave him a nudge. I said, we sneak upstairs. So we sneaked upstairs. <laughs> well, we heard. <laughs> oh, it was such fun. And when we finished, everybody on the bus just clapped. <laughs> I remember mine. Oh. Pictures first, then home for a quiet drink. Oh. I'd left the electric blanket on so the bed was nice and cold. <laughs> and afterwards, just laid there smoking me cigarette. <laughs> God, I was in heaven. Oh, I can imagine. I only wish Jackal had been there. <laughs> We 
we were just talking. How, how did you meet Jonathan? Well, I met him in France. Oh, no. When you went out with a Frenchman once, didn't you, Winnie? I did. Really? What was his name? Crab de Monte. <laughs> That's a liquor. Do you, you know him? <laughs> Dermot sent Maria flowers. Ah, where is she? What? Maria. Where did he send the flowers to? Our house home. But they both lived there. Why didn't he bring them home and save himself a few bob? You're missing the point, Winnie. It's a surprise, the whole romance of it all. Ah, right. Damn, father wasn't like that at all. Hmm. I know, Agnes. He did give you that surprise party. That was his funeral. <laughs> Mr Foley, and then a pint of cider for the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> How are you, Maria? Is Dermot here? No, he's still in work. The shop's open till 10 tonight. I'll call back later and see him some. Do you have to? Do you have to call it all? What? Buster, every time Dermot tries to go straight, you turn up. And he's back being the master burglar. Ah, oh, thanks very much. It's no bother. <laughs> it's not a compliment. Just leave us alone. Just go away and leave us alone. OK. <sighs> Will you give that to Dermot? What is this? I knew you two were looking for a place. And a friend of mine, he just moved out of an apartment. The rent's cheap. That's the case. Buster. Buster, look, I'm sorry. Don't mind me. My hormones are all over the place. Do you want me to help you look for them? <laughs> How are you, Dermo? How are you, Buster? Oh. Are you all right, love? She can't find her harmonica. I think the babies are coming. Jesus! Jesus! Get the suitcase, the suitcase! Call the ambulance, the ambulance! Breathe! In and out! In and out! Feel any better? Bit dizzy, Dermo. <laughs> Not you! Yes, it's easing. Good! Dermo, you look very pale. I'm grand. <laughs> uh, it, it has two bedrooms and there's a lift that goes on. Oh, get help! Get help! Get help! <laughs> You have to go home. Hey, Buster, I'm having a good time. Leave me alone. No, Miss Brown, you have to go home now. Buster, I don't remember marrying you now. Piss off. <laughs> they're coming. Who's coming? The babies, they're coming. Winnie, it's Maria's time. Where's Dermot? He's at your house. I think he's dead. <laughs> Winnie, come on, let's go. You, get Hillary. Where was I? Breathe in and out. Maria, how far apart are the pains? Oh, not too far. A few minutes. Where's Dermot? He's in on the floor. He's not able for this. We, we better get things started. Right, Agnes. I'll get hot water, whiskey, a lamp and newspapers. Winnie! I'm not feckin' John Wayne! <laughs> Just call an ambulance! Uh, Mommy, thank God you're here. Just relax. Son, look after your wife. Uh, Thank you. Come on, I can take you. <laughs> oh! Uh. oh, Maria, are you all right? She's fine. The ambulance is on the way. The babies are coming. The babies are coming. The babies are coming! Calm down. The babies are coming. Calm down. The babies are coming! Yes! 
Yes, into the kitchen. Come on, love, lie down. Lie down, get your feet up. Come on. Now, remember your classes. Breathe in, breathe out. I can't see the tally. Piss off you. Breathe in. I can't see the tally. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, Jeremy, good man. Look after your wife. What will I do? Encourage her. Go, Maria. Go, Maria. No, not yet. <laughs> Scratch that last message. Give me a towel. Oh, you're here, thank God. Maria, the ambulance is here. Yeah, okay. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> not him, whore! <laughs> Dammit! Dammit! Dammit, son! You go in the ambulance with Maria! For God's sake, don't you dare faint again! Go! It's close, five centimetres. Oh. Oh. She's close! Five kilometres! <laughs> Buster, stop it! Sorry. I'm not able for this feckin' waiting. Your father was great. He was so cool. I remember when I was in on Rory. He just came in and said, any news of the baby? I said, he's two. <laughs> Hello? Kieran? Yes, hold on, he's here. Here in Spiel. Is that your phone? No. And of course not. You wouldn't be silly enough to leave your phone on in the feckin' studio. <laughs> Say, Kieran. <laughs> Stop, Buster. Sorry. Hello? Dermot. Yes? Hold on. The first one was born an hour ago. It's a boy. Yes! Yes, love. The second one was born ten minutes ago. It's another boy. Twin boys! Yes! <laughs> yeah, I'm still here, love. Yes. The what? <laughs> well, I, I... They're expecting the turret any minute now. Oh my God, life doesn't get any better than this. Yeah. Well done, Mummy. I must bring her in some night clothes in the morning. And I'll bring her flowers on for tomorrow. <sighs> They're not her flowers. They are. They're the ones you got for Dermot. I didn't get them for Dermot. I got them for Merck. For Merck? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Rory. Oh. Rory, great news. <laughs> Rory. Are you all right? Oh, it's me back, Mammy. I feel like I'm two foot tall. Did you fall? No, Mammy. Me and Dino are up in the park riding. <laughs> Three beautiful boys. Under the image of me. That'll be the trauma of the birth, Agnes. <laughs> It'll wear off. Sorry. <laughs> Three beautiful new brown boys. You won't know yourself with babies in the house. I know. Mind you, they're moving out shortly. I should make the most of it while I can. Yeah. <sighs> Triplets. What a way to end the series. Yeah. <laughs> what? This isn't the last episode. Yes, it is. But I can't feed. There's been no song. Jeez, you're right, Winnie. <sighs> we have a problem. Well, just hold on. First. I have a problem. 
Betty, I didn't want to upset Maria, but I got those flowers for you. I know. And the tickets to Venice, they weren't for Dermot and Maria. I got them for you and me. I know. And I'm fed up with being top. You know? Yes. Buster told me everything. The hero again. <laughs> okay, then. Fine. Sorry, Ma, what's your problem? Well, it's much bigger than yours. <laughs> this is the last program in the series. We've no song. I'll give you a song, Ma. Mark Love, he can't sing. Want to bet? Games, changes and fear. Where do they go from here? When do they stop? I believe that fate has brought us here. And we should be together, babe. But we are not. Keep my cool, but I feel it. I try to say goodbye and I choke. Try to walk away and I stumble. 